is a problem. I can barely get to anything because I have so much stuff stacked up on my vanity. So this is definitely something we will be tackling for Vlogmas. I still have my like Sephora haul mixed in with stuff there. New palettes. New palettes mixed with old palettes because I was trying to match to the Smoke and Roses palette. Anyways, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to go through. <laughs> Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because we're going to be cleaning all this up during Vlogmas. Okay, let's get to the video. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. Today I'm so excited because I received my Smoke and Roses palette finally. I say finally, this just launched <laughs> I think Thursday. Um, on ColourPop. However, I was lucky enough to catch someone selling their PR on Mercari and so I got mine super quick. I've been hearing what you guys are saying on other videos and you want to see palette comparisons. So I've dug through palettes that I own and I'm going to show you which ones are close, ones, which ones aren't. Um, I'm going to be showing you comparisons with the Morphe 35X Big Primpin. Um, I also pulled the Sigma Rosy palette, uh, ColourPop Blush Crush. Of course, the Natasha Denona Retro Cloud Spun, even though like I'm really not going to compare it because honestly, when you see them side by side, they're not even close. Um, and then, of course, this is one I didn't think about, but the Huda Beauty Nada. Oh my God, I came talk. Huda Booty. <laughs> Huda Booty. Oh my goodness. The Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. And uh, I'm not going to compare it or anything, but I did get this in the mail yesterday from the Half Price Sale at Sephora. And um, I have to say, these are some of the prettiest shimmers that I have ever in my life seen. Like, they are extremely gorgeous. So, that really doesn't have anything to do with the video, but I just wanted to show you guys. I'm sure most of you already own it. Like, I was a late bloomer, I guess. It kind of, like, hold on, I gotta adjust you a little bit. Like, that palette came out before I was, like, really into doing, like, YouTube and makeup, so I didn't own it, and when it came up half price, I was like, yeah! If you are new here and you're just finding me through this video, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button and uh, join our little crew we got going on here. I do lots of new makeup releases, like mini reviews, swatches, things like that, but I'm also trying to, like, venture a little bit into, like, fashion and you know a little bit into hair i wanted to ask you guys really quick before we go on le let me know in the comments with um i don't know like a number five like just leave a five if you <laughs> i ordered the brad mondo um gloss treatment he just did a video on that like maybe two weeks ago if if that and it looked amazing so i had to order it so i was going to film a video doing the entire process like before during and after if that's something you'd be interested in seeing please leave me a five in a comment down below because I'm probably going to end up doing it anyway, but I'm just curious to see who's here is interested in more than just makeup. Of course, it'll always be predominantly like makeup, but I like throwing in a little other kind of beauty stuff in, you know, here and there. So without further ado, without any more rambling, I hope you guys enjoyed the new intro. Um, I'm going to be trying to do Vlogmas. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be here like every single day, um, but I'm going to give it my very, very best shot. So let's jump right on in to the video. Part of my voice, I am, me and my daughter are sick again. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're going to start by, I'm going to swatch the entire Smoke and Roses palette for you quickly. And then um, we'll start with our comparison. So, this is what she looks like if you haven't seen her. It's a very pretty 30 pan palette. I think besides Bare Necessities and Stone Cold Fox, this is probably number three for me. Um, just as far as like daily wearability neutrality things like that if you look up close you can see kind of like this like lace printing imprint on the front of the palette um, that's also on the box packaging as well and of course no mirror because it is a 30 pan and then inside you have your 30 shades now it is easy for the mind to let you think that this is an all pink palette when in fact we have a lot of just neutral like creams and like taupey colors we have, of course, the pink, we have some copper, and we have purple and gray. So even though predominantly it looks like it's a pink palette, you actually are getting a lot more than just pink, if that makes sense. It's almost like Bare Necessities and, and Stone Cold Fox came together and you threw in a handful of pink, and that's what Smoke and Roses is. So 
Sorry, I am long-winded today, apparently. We're gonna jump right down into the swatches. I am going to be swatching them um, by vertical rows for you guys. Of course, I do it right here on my arms so that you're able to see the shade be swatched. And let's go. First, we have <laughs> Thorn Apart. These names, I can't with these names. They're so funny. It's just a shimmery kind of goldish champagne color. That's Thorn Apart. Then we have Kickstart, which is kind of like a pinky brown light matte. Oh my god, I'm not flipping you off, I promise. I didn't think that one through. These, you guys, these shadows are so freaking nice. I know sometimes the 30 pans are like questionable, uh, but these are so great. This is Love Hurts. It's kind of like a pinky, uh, pinky champagne. There we have Love Hurts. Next we have another matte. This is uh, just like a pinky with a little bit of brown matte. And it is called, sorry, Look At Me. There is Look At Me. This shade reminds me of um, Puppy from Sydney Grace, if any of you are familiar with Sydney Grace shadows. Then we have this beautiful, like, coppery brown shade called Twin Flame. So there you have the first column of Smoke and Roses. Next column, we're going to start right here and go down. We have Attraction, which just is a pinky cream color. Predominantly cream with just a little pink tinge there. And we have, this is a beautiful duochrome. It's like a peachy pink, but with a gold reflect quite light there so I'm trying to get up so you can see it let me put just another layer on it because this one is kind of sheer there we go I think you can see that one better this one's called part-time there you go then we have this beautiful shimmer it's called speechless and this one really had me speechless it's kind of like this pinky copper a little lighter than the one before it. Like, look at that. That one is so pretty. And then finally in this row, this one feels a little drier than the other ones in the palette. Just a brown. We have spun around. Swatch is pretty nice though. Okay, so there you have the second column in Smoke and Roses. Okay, so now we have the third row. <laughs> Starting here and going down. Oh, how is everyone's holiday? I hope you guys had a good one. This is every rose. I would have had a great holiday if I wouldn't have ended up with a cold, so that kind of sucked. That was a beautiful, just really light. I liked, I think that's the one I actually have on my inner corner today. Oh, by the way, I am wearing the palette. I am sick, so I just did like a very minimal makeup job. I'm just wearing the uh, True Match Nude uh, from L'Oreal, the serum. A little bit of Huda bronzer, a little bit of NARS blush, and then I threw the palette on my eyes. My mascara, I got this really awesome sample from Sephora. It's the Dior Show Mascara. This was in the free sample, like with order, not like a gift with purchase thing. Um, I've never seen, usually it's just those like dinky little packets, so I was really excited to try a new mascara. I love trying new mascaras. Okay, back to the grind. This is called Say It's True. And to me, this is like if you took white and taupe and mixed it together. Just a very light shade, but it's really pretty. Let me do it one more time. Sorry with my skin tone, it's kind of hard for you to see some of these colors. Next we have, this one is stunning, you guys. This one is called Romance, and it's more of that peachy pink. I don't want to go over that shade that I just, there we go. That is just such a dainty, uh, I love it. It's just a, like soft romance overall feeling of this palette. Oh, scam likely. That means <laughs> we're not answering the phone. Isn't that so cool that phones do that now? Like they tell you when it's a telemarketer. I love that. It saves me so much time. Next we have this rosy, I'd say like a muted rosy red. This one's called Pretender. It looks more red in the pan than it does on the arm. That's for sure. It's definitely more pinky on the arm. Then we have the last one. This is called This Guy. This is the deepest purple shade in the palette. It definitely feels drier to the touch, but it performs fine and it swatches 
amazing. Isn't that a beautiful, like, warm purple? I love that. So that is the third row. So now we're gonna go in to the fourth row, starting here down. This shimmer is really pretty. This is called Faithfully. It is a little bit of a flakier shade, but it is really pretty. There's Faithfully. Then we have this really pretty soft pink called Alone. Do I have a little chunk on there? I think I pushed a little too hard in my swatch there. So that is Alone. Then we have this gorgeous pink shimmer. This is the one I didn't go in super dark, but it's in like the corner and the outer corner of my eyes today. That one is called On the Edge. Next we have this super like pinky purple color called Angel Eyes. This one is really pretty too. And then below that, one, this is called Whisper. It's really pretty and, and different to, from what I use anyway. It may be in a palette I have, I'm sure, but I don't use it on a daily basis. Now we're gonna do the fifth row, starting here down. This one is really pretty. This is called I Love. This is what is in the center of my lid. I know it's kind of hard to tell because I did just go in really light today, but look at the shine on that one. That is so pretty. Oh, did I? I can't remember. I showed you my fingers, so. You can just see it's kind of like the champagne color, but it definitely has like a cooler, cooler side to it. It's just really reflective. It's really, really pretty. Then we have this kind of taupey light purple called Best Shot. I love that color. Below that, this is our most purple shimmery shade. This is called Heartbreaker. Remember that Mariah Carey Jay-Z song? Heartbreak, you got the best of me. Watch, I get copyrighted for that. That's Heartbreaker. Then we have Is This Love? Is this love that I'm feeling? There's all my 80s ladies for you. There's Is This Love. You guys, the shimmers in this palette are like out of this world. They're so amazing. Then we have the shade Tonight. This is a super dark <laughs> purpley gray color. But again, swatches beautifully. So there you have it. That's the fifth row. So now we're doing the sixth and final row, starting here and going down. We have this pretty light <laughs> kind of bone brown color. This is called Like Heaven. Wow, I'm surprised that that actually shows up on my skin. Okay. Then we have this beautiful shimmer called Foolin'. When I swatched it earlier, I think this was like one of ones I knew I'd use so much. Just like as a one and done even on a lazy day. I love that color. Then we have like a more, I don't know, kind of like more maroon or maroon mauve colored pink shimmer. That one was called Wild Side. Then we have Metalhead, which is like a darker taupey shimmer. Like, look how these swatch, you guys. And I've used them on my eyes, so I mean, it's not just a palette. This swatch is great. Like, it performs amazing. This is right up there with Stone Cold Fogs and Bare Necessities. Seriously. Sorry, I'm like starting to get warm. I just realized I didn't put on any lip gloss. I am a hot mess. I'm so sorry. Then we have the darkest shade in the palette, which is like a smoky gray color, and it's called Smoked Out. And look at that look, not patchy at all, swatched amazing. So this is the sixth and final row. The Morphe 35X Big Primpin. I do really love this palette. I never did a video on it, I intended to, but I didn't. So they're very similar. So we have, you know, the pink kind of sparkly holiday looking packaging on the outside. No mirror, just like uh, the Smoke and Roses palette. This one is 35 pans. And I think you can see immediately upon like me putting them up, the difference in the color stories. So yes, they will overlap in some of the, you know, the lighter shades up here and then in the pinks, 
but this shade this palette is definitely more I'd say like warm leaning for sure um, and then it's mostly just a lot of browns kind of like rusty colors and pinks um, definitely feel like it's almost completely different than the other one it's really hard to tell online sometimes because you never know like what the saturation they're using on the picture is like I've ordered palettes that look completely different when I get them in person and I absolutely dislike that so I'm gonna throw I think I took I'm trying to remember what pictures and videos I took yesterday to put in this video but you'll be able to see when these are side by side that they look absolutely nothing alike out of the two I'm not hating on Morphe I know I've been a little rough on Morphe lately but I mean just for me personally the having the option of having those taupes having the pinks but the, also having the purples and the grays uh, mixed in with the browns this one definitely I can get more looks and more use out of than this one I was really excited when I seen this one though it's upside down of course it is um just because you know these are everyday colors for me as well um I didn't know it was going to be so warm toned but you know, it was super, super affordable. I think I got this on sale at Ulta for like $16. And I mean, I can definitely get some use out of the shades, especially like the top half of the palette. So um, I'm not mad at it. Um, and you know, it was a little less expensive than this, but this being on sale as it was for, you know, it got down to $20.80 or something like that. Um, so they were very comparable in price and I would definitely <laughs> recommend this one over the Morphe 35X. So now, moving on, I know this was a question that a lot of people wanted to know, was the Smoke and Roses, is it so, is it like the twin of the Natasha Denona Retro Palette? And I'm going to tell you, yes and no. <laughs> so, let me throw up a swatch video. On top, we have Natasha Denona, and on the bottom, we have the coordinating swatches, as close as I could get it, from the Smoke and Roses Palette. As you can see, these are very, very similar color stories, um, but you also have to keep in mind you're getting twice as many shades in the Smoke and Roses palette. Um, the quality is not, you know, quite, obviously it's not Natasha Denona quality. This one is $65, and this one is going to be, you know, regular price $34, if not less, because it's on sale. Um, however, I will say the look is going to be... 99.9 percent .9 similar especially like these shades as you can as you've seen in that video they are dang near identical and if you don't mind like a step down in quality if you're not like you know 100 percent natasha denona all the way then this one's definitely going to give you a similar look but here we have the color stories side by side you've already seen the swatches so you can see you know i'm not putting down the color pop palette though yes it's not natasha denona quality however it is very good quality and especially for ColourPop I mean this is probably one of their best formulas the most shimmery like shimmers that I've seen in a 30 pan in a long long time and I do own I own all of them except for play a jewel and it's all good so I mean I'm used to the formula in the 30 pans so I feel comfortable enough like speaking about this um I haven't been excited this excited for a 30 pan in a minute yes it's a mood was great I do love playing with color, but I am very neutral at heart, and so these kind of colors, the colors in Stone Cold Fox and the colors in Bare Necessities, are the ones that I'm most comfortable working with and wearing, you know, on a regular basis. So yes, um, if you don't have the Natasha Denona Retro Palette and you love the color story, I would definitely recommend picking up the Smoke and Roses Palette because you're going to get pretty much exactly the same looks. Now the next palette I want to talk about is the ColourPop Blush Crush Palette. This came out, I think, early 2020. I might be a little bit off on there. This came out right at the beginning of my like love and obsession with makeup and ColourPop. Um, this is actually quite similar. I was looking at the front, like, yes, it's just plain. This one's plain pink, but kind of has the same kind of like lacy, rosy feel on the cover. And then inside, of course, we have these shades that I feel are also... This one, though, has a lot of those, like, sequiny mattes, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I feel like this top peachy light shade here is very similar to the uh, third one over right here as far as, like, color and look. And let me put them side by side so you can definitely see here. We have a lot of the same 
tones for sure. Now the finishes though are what's different because like I said, well, I mean, of course you're, these are going to kind of overlap your lighter mattes here at the top, probably this one here. Oh wait, no, that's a sequin shade. Um, there's one very similar to the Blossom Up in the Smoke and Roses palette, but these darker shades down here, the two in the corner, um, are those sequin matte shades and those aren't in here, which I really don't care for these. I know a lot of you guys don't. Um, but I mean, overall, I think you're going to get a similar look with Blush Crush if you own Blush Crush, but you're not going to have those dark shades at the bottom to really deepen up the look. Um, the darkest look you're going to get is with these two here, and I think they're more of like, I just swatched them with the same finger. I mean, there's just not a whole lot of depth there. I'd say that these are both like, at most, mid-tone. So... That's the difference there. Now I will say another close one as far as overall look and what you're gonna get was the Sigma Rosy palette. I bought this with, like they came out with six uh, travel friendly palettes earlier this year and I purchased them all together and then um, Samantha March also came out with a brush bundle and this palette. So I know a lot of you guys probably own this one. Um, open the front here. I also insert some pictures and video that I took. I matched these um, shade for shade up as best as I could, and they're actually quite similar. Of course, this is a nine pan from Sigma, and this is a 30 pan from ColourPop. So, you know, I know a lot of people have kind of like a favorite formula or a favorite brand or, you know, a brand that they're loyal to, but as far as just color story goes, you're gonna get very similar looks, although you'll be able to do a heck of a lot more with this palette because this um, has the, those darker grays and the darker purple. You're gonna be able to take this a lot, lot deeper than you are with the, oh my gosh, Sigma Rosy palette. <sighs> my brain, this is the most thinking my brain has done in a couple days. I've been sick, I've been like vegging out, watching YouTube, like making my like new little intro thing. I hope you guys liked it. Um, okay, so now let me show you Cloud Spun, just for anyone who is curious, next to Smoke and Roses, and you'll be able to see, like, the pinks are completely different. It's, so, like, definitely seeing them next to each other, like, I don't think even any one shade overlapped. Like, maybe one of the pale pink shimmer shades, or that first matte right here that I'm pointing at, but other than that, completely different tone of pink, so... If you own this one, feel free to get Smoke and Roses if it tickles your fancy. Next up, this one actually surprised me. This is the Huda Naughty Nudes. I was thinking when I first seen Smoke and Roses, I was thinking the new nudes palette would be very, very similar. Um, I don't own that one, unfortunately. It's like the only big palette. No, I don't own Desert Dusk either. But um, So I, I'm unable to directly compare that. But I did compare the Huda Naughty palette I've never turned off my notifications. So there's actually quite a bit of similarity in the colors um, because like once I got this in person, I seen how much more depth it actually had with that bottom row. And let me, pu I'll put up some pictures too so you can see them side by side. Um, but really the only difference is you're gonna have a couple of, I'm sorry about the mirror. Let's see if I can move the mirror out. Um, you're definitely going to have more deeper purple in the Huda Naughty palette. You do have a couple purplish shades in here, um, but you're going to get darker purple shimmers in here. This is more like a pink palette with a little bit of purple thrown in for depth, where this is more some pinks, but like a balance of pink, purples, uh, coppers, mauves, things like that. But, I mean, overall, you can definitely achieve a similar look with the Smoke and Roses palette. And like I said, you know, $34 or under. Hmm? Hmm? So if you don't own the, the Naughty palette already, this could definitely be a fabulous option for you. So I guess like in conclusion, <laughs> what I want to say is I 100% support this palette. I think this was an amazing release. I know a lot of people were kind of thinking like this is, you know, kind of like a Valentine's color story or like a spring color story, but... You know, honestly, I am just happy to have it. It's beautiful. I'm really glad that I picked it up. Um, as far as the brushes go, I don't know because I didn't open them. 
Um, I have so many brushes that are super good quality right now. I just ordered the Blend Bunny brushes. Let me show you what these look like in case you haven't seen them. These are available on blendbunny.com. There, I believe it was like $34, $32. They are color coded <laughs> from uh, light to dark of like what order you apply your shadows with them. Uh, I think that that's really neat and you can see just how small these are, which makes them excellent if you have mono lid, hooded lid, smaller eye space, mature eyes, things like that. Um, they're really dense. They're just really nice for detail work. So I was really excited. I seen these and I was like, oh, I have to have these. Um, I would definitely recommend using code Allie to save 10%. That's so cool. Allie Dawson, you're probably not watching this, but I absolutely love Allie Dawson. If you haven't checked out her channel already, I'm going to try to remember to link it below because she is fantastic. She is coming out with her very first collab, which is a collab with blinged brushes on December 3rd, I believe. December 3rd, she is launching her beautiful red bling brush set. You guys, I'm so, so excited for her. Like I don't, it couldn't have happened to a nicer person for real. So yeah, anyways, use code Allie if you want to pick up these Blend Bunny brushes because they are fantastic and that'll save you a little bit of money. Also though, I got this in the mail from BK Beauty. I'm so, so excited. This is their brand new travel brush set. You guys, the quality on this <laughs> is insane. Like look at, I mean, this is nice. This is not like, like the free with gift purchase at Ulta that you get that's like, sewn funny like this is so nice it has a nice you know faux leather feel to it it has the nice gold zipper look at this like no catching like no cheap zipper here you open it you have your pocket for you know you could put a palette in there powders like things that are more breakable that you don't want to just throw haphazardly into your makeup bag and then on this side you have your pouch to hold your brushes and it comes with five wonderful brushes. These are just smaller sizes of the regular BK Beauty brushes. Just shown, I think I should, a couple videos back, I did a video on the BK Beauty brushes. So this is the 101, which is their little foundation brush that they are <laughs> very famous for. And it's so cute, look at the size. It's like from here up, it looks exactly like the original brush. It just has a shorter handle to make it easier to store and to carry with you. Then we have the 107 right here. And then look at the eye brushes that come with this set, you guys. These are gonna be great for everybody. You have a little bit of everything, three sizes. You can complete any look with these, absolutely. No matter if you struggle with lid space, anything like that, these are gonna work for everybody. And look, the size, they're just so, so cute. So I wanna thank BK Beauty for sending these my way. I am so blessed and like the fact that they are, that they believe in me and they are giving me a chance to work with them. I think that is so, so cool. And I wish more bigger brands would give smaller creators a chance because it's just awesome. You know, it makes you feel really good inside. Like I've worked so hard to get where I am at and it's just nice to feel like, you know, recognized for that once in a while. So. Make sure you check out BK Beauty for your travel brush set. This did come, when you purchase this, you get, um, or it was coming with a free BK Beauty palette. I'm not sure if that promo is still going on for Cyber Week, but I would definitely check it out because these are fantastic. Yes, I haven't used these ones, but I've used my full-size ones, and these are the same, so you know. Okay, I think I've talked enough for today's video. Definitely need to save some content for Vlogmas. So um, I inter inserted a clip earlier. You can see how messy my little filming slash vanity slash workstation is. We're gonna be tackling it category by category, getting rid of a ton of stuff, you guys. Then we're gonna be actually finally doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. Um, we're gonna decorate my Christmas tree. We're gonna set up my new filming space together. We're gonna have so much fun during Vlogmas. So I hope that you guys subscribe. Give this video a like if you don't mind. It really does help my channel. Um, let me know down below to hit that five. <laughs> let me know the number five. If you wanna see the process of me using the Brad Mondo gloss treatment, cause I think that would be really cool. And it's definitely still in the beauty realm. So um, yeah. If you have any questions about any of the other palettes, I try to answer your comments back as soon as I can. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fabulous December Vlogmas. Woohoo, here we go. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.